Hi everyone. It's time to do the next basket on this page. Today we're going to do a, a dark brown basket. I'm going to use just these two pencils here and I'll list them down below so in case you forget, but that's it. That's all we need for, for this basket right here. So let's get started. Gonna eventually end up using a lot of pressure all over, but for right now, just do darker in the crevices because if we really want it to look like um, I have a lot of depth, and uh, these are erosion pencils, which if you are familiar with them, they're they're harder, so they don't lay down a lot of pigment all at once. Uh, I will also I will either post some similar colors and other pencils or a link to the chart. I'm not sure which yet. to put quite a bit of pressure with the erosion tins, but if you're using um, a softer pencil like a Prismacolor, you don't have to put quite as much pressure uh, to get a lot of pigment down. But lighter color basket that we did before up here. I didn't put a lot of shadow in this area that I'm doing right here because I wanted it to look a little smoother, um, but this one I just want a lot of texture in it, so I'm, I'll end up with just a lot of a lot of shadow in those areas. Just give it a little more interest, make it a little, little more different. A little more different? Is that grammatically correct? <laughs> um, it's a little more variety from the lighter basket that we did last time. Trying to follow the natural lines in this one of the texture of the wicker and you can see with the shadow lines it goes sideways so I'm trying to color in that same general direction so that any pencil marks that are left behind contribute to the texture of the wicker itself so they look intentional.
first first basic layer. Now just using the ivory black um, start adding shadow, adding depth. Oh, I forgot it. Oh, hold on. I forgot about this part up here. The first layer of here. pencils as I can get away with um, and still get the effect that I want. I'm just not usually, um, I'm not in it for the pristine um, masterpieces necessarily. I mean, that's always nice when something turns out really, really nice, but um, the kind of layering that takes forever and takes 10 million layers is not my favorite method oh, I bumped the camera. sorry about that um so when i can find a way like this to do something with just two colors that's always fun i like to get my colors down and move on to the next thing <laughs> i'm always in awe um, of sometimes of the results of other colors who just can use so many colors but when I try to like follow their color alongs I just get it's like I get too impatient <laughs> mm. so this even is take is going to take a few layers to get the depth of color um, but because it's such a small area I didn't get too impatient but this is this will be more layers than I normally would use. But I just want it nice and dark, so. I'm trying to do this whole page with Rogitens. I find that they're working really well on this paper in this book. This is uh, Clara Markova's very touch of mirror, very touch of magic. Yeah. <laughs> but you can use this technique on any wicker basket in any book. and the shadows usually brings it all together. So let's see.
Now it's just a matter of filling in and making shadows. Um, stand back and look at the whole thing and see if it's got the texture you want. Add a little more shadow where you want it. Um, if you've got another element on the page, which I do, that you want to try to mimic, sit back, look at the big picture, compare them each to each other, and if they, and I'll do that in a second. It's over here. I'll get it on screen. And we can compare them just to make sure that they are similar enough. shadow around the bottom to make it recede a little bit and it gives the uh, help with the illusion of it being a rounded basket. It's a general rule of thumb. Dark colors make things recede and bright colors, lighter colors make them move forward. So if you want to add depth, just remember, think about what part of the item is farther away from you. In general, make those darker. There's always exceptions with highlights and light sources and things, but that's for another video. <laughs> this is just a pretty basic one, so darker around the edges. I don't really have an established light source. It's a little deceiving because if you can, you know, carry that around there, that kind of would seem like it makes sense. But actually, this is the middle of the rim, just like this is the middle of the rim, so it needs to stay lighter. I'll just put the shadow on the underneath part. Okay, let's tie it all together with some chestnut brown. Two baskets now. 
two dark baskets. I can't seem to all the light source is a little too close. I think those look relatively similar, so I'm gonna call it good. That was two pencils for lovely dark brown baskets. I also have a video for some orange mushrooms from this page that you might like, so I'll link that here. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a great day.